Hello and welcome to Every Dad DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be taking a look at this fella. It's a marking tool made by Wolfcraft. So it's for doing, you know, angles and straight edges and different depths and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to test it out. We're going to have a go over it and see if it's any good, if it's worth picking up. And yeah, so stick with me. Let's get started. Okay, so before we actually uh, start marking that, and I just thought I'd give you a better look at it. Um, so, yeah, you can see along here we've got um, all our measurements. Um, they're going along at an angle, and the same here. Then we've got our different size holes um, here, and then we've got a straight line here with measurements as well. Then we've got our angles here with, I think it's 30, uh, 45 and 60 degrees. Um, then we have our ruler along here as well uh, so that's the straight ruler there's a little lip on the side that's so you can pop it down on stuff and we've got another ruler along this edge and then we've got another one of these angle things the same as this one only it's going the opposite direction um, and then we've got all our holes then for our different sizes so it looks like it goes all the way from zero up to 55 uh, yeah so let's start marking out and see how useful it actually is Okay, so let's do some marking out and see how we get on. So the first thing I like is this edge along here. So you can just put it up against the mark like that. And then you can come down, say, all the way to 100 or whatever you want. Um, then you can also put it this way and uh, do your angles. So you could draw a radius or if you wanted, this would be like your 45 degree angle. Or if you wanted to say a 30 degree angle, you would put your mark here. And when you mark your line here, you know between this point and that point is a 30 degree angle. So you just put your uh, edge along like this and then just draw out your, your 30 degrees. Um, that's actually going to be really handy for me because I kind of struggle with um, angles. I'm all right with the, the standard ones, 45 and all that, but as for getting a 60 degree or an 80 degree angle having a hope so that's going to come in really useful um, also you have your marking holes so if i wanted to mark out 55 mil i can just mark here if i wanted to do a line at 55 mil i can just move it along and get my 55 degree um, line and there's a nice little splinter okay so now that i've got rid of the splinter um, so yeah, the angles are actually going to come in really handy. Um, also, what we have are angles on this side. So as you can see on this one, we used this to go this way, but we could flip it this way and use this side to go the opposite way. So we can get our angles in both directions. Um, so that's why it's really handy to have the two of them. Um, also on this side, we have a little line here for your depths and then we've got our holes as well so you can draw out your little holes and then we've obviously got a 45 degree angle on this side and a 90 degree angle here um, so that's pretty much all there's a ruler along the top here as well so you could mark out this way so on this side you've got your ruler here and on this side you've got your ruler here so you've got a ruler that goes out on both sides. You've got your angles that go out on both sides. Uh, this will work uh, either side. So you can have it this side or you can have it this side. It doesn't matter. Um, then you've got your ruler along this edge, which works both directions as well. And yeah, so it, it's really helpful. It's really handy. And then you've got your, your holes here as well. The only things I don't understand are these, um, which in my head is for marking out along an angle but I don't actually know how you would use that so if you're up on that let me know in the comments. Okay. 
Okay, so that's a very brief look around this fella at some of the functions and stuff that you can use it for. Uh, I'm actually very impressed with it. I really like the, the angles. That's going to be something that's really helpful to me. Normally I just wing it, so um, that is actually going to be useful. And I also like this marking gauge. Normally I'd use a, like a, an ordinary marking gauge or a combination square or something like that. But with those you actually have to measure them. So with these are already measured. You've got your holes. You can do them very fast. Um, so that's going to help no end and yeah I like this ruler as well that it puts up against it and you can make your mark then um, yeah so I'm really impressed with it if you're interested in picking one up I'll leave a link down below and other than that thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button I'll see you in the next one